This is a cytosolic precursor protein. This precursor protein is synthesized on cytosolic ribosomes. This precursor protein has a N-terminal matrix targeting sequence. This matrix targeting sequence targets the precursor protein or nascent protein into the mitochondrial matrix. The cytosolic HSC70 then attaches to the nascent precursor protein. The HSC70 is a type of chaperone protein. The ATP then binds to the attached HSC70. The ATP then undergoes hydrolysis to produce ADP and PI. Due to this ATP hydrolysis, the conformation of HSC70 is changed. As a result, the HSC70 binds to the nascent precursor protein. The ADP and PI are then released into the cytosol. Another cytosolic HSC70 then attaches to the nascent precursor protein. Another cytosolic ATP then binds with the attached HSC70 protein. The ATP then undergoes hydrolysis to produce ADP and PI. Due to this hydrolysis, the attached HSC70 undergoes a conformational change. As a result, the HSC70 binds to the nascent precursor protein. The ADP and PI are then released into the cytosol. The bound HSC70 protein maintains the precursor protein in an unfolded or partially folded state. Generally, only unfolded proteins can be imported into the mitochondrion. So maintenance of a nascent protein in an unfolded or partially folded state is mandatory. The outer membrane of a mitochondrion has a TOM20 or 22 protein. TOM20 or 22 protein is called as import receptor. The precursor protein then binds to the TOM20 or 22 protein by its matrix targeting sequence near a site of contact with the inner membrane. TOM20 or 22 recognizes the matrix targeting sequence in a precursor protein. The outer membrane of mitochondrion has a protein called as TOM40. It is otherwisely called as general import pore. TOM40 is called as such because all non-mitochondrial precursor proteins gain access to the interior compartments of mitochondrion through it. TOM20 or 22 then transfers the bound precursor protein to the TOM40 channel. The inner membrane of mitochondrion has a protein called TIM23 or 17. From the TOM40 channel, the precursor protein having N-terminal matrix targeting sequence then is translocated into the channel of TIM23 or 17 at rare contact site at which the inner membrane and outer membrane of mitochondrion appear to touch. Due to this translocation, the N-terminal matrix targeting sequence of precursor protein reaches to the mitochondrial matrix. The inner mitochondrial membrane has also a transmembrane protein called as TIM44. The matrix HSC70 then interacts with the TIM44. As a result, the HSC70 is localized to the TIM23 or 17 translocation channel. The ATP then binds with the localized HSC70. 
the interaction of HSC 70 with team 44 stimulates the hydrolysis of bound ATP. Due to this hydrolysis, the ATP forms ADP and PI. Due to this hydrolysis, the HSC 70 protein undergoes a conformational change and binds to the translocating precursor protein. The HSC 70 and team 44 together then translocate the protein into the mitochondrial matrix. The ADP and PI are then released into the matrix. In the mitochondrial matrix, an enzyme called edge matrix processing protease then binds to the matrix targeting sequence of precursor protein and cleaves it. This is the cleaved targeting sequence produced after the cleavage. After this cleavage, the HSC70 is released from the newly imported precursor protein. The newly imported precursor protein folds to form mature active protein. The folding of some proteins depends on matrix chaperonins. Please like, subscribe and share.